So what's up everyone, my name is Ben and today I'll be talking about the 5 best value Android tablets under $200. I'll be talking about tablets that, get, that give you the most amount of performance for your money, which is something I really look uh, when I'm buying new tech. Let's jump straight into the video. First off, we have the Nvidia Shield tablet, which is the K1 model. So did you love the original Nvidia Shield tablet? Well, you will probably feel just the same about the K1 uh, because it's just an upgraded version. The specifications and design are pretty much the same with both tablets, aside from the addition of a rubberized surface next to the speakers and brushed metal lettering on the back of the K1. Nvidia also removed the stylus holder on the K1, which brings us to our next point. The stylus is gone, so are the charging cable and wall adapter. The big news here is that Nvidia is trying to cut costs and they did just that by not including a stylus or charger. With that said, this tablet is now only $200, which makes it not only the best of Android tablets out there, but also one of most affordable. So you get an 8 inch LCD display with 1920 uh, by 1200 resolution, uh, 283 ppi. 2.2 GHz quad core NVIDIA Tegra K1 processor, 2 GB of RAM, 16 GB of onboard storage, when that's expandable via the micro SD card slot, up to 128 GB, 5 megapixel rear camera, 5 megapixel front camera, a non removable 19.75 uh, WR battery, Android 7.0 Nougat, and this thing only weighs about 400 grams which makes it one of the lighter tablets. Up next we have the Asus ZenPad S8.0. While Asus refreshed their uh, affordable Mimo Pad Android tablet line earlier this year, they have more recently launched an even newer and more powerful tablet in this price range. This is the new Asus ZenPad S8.0 on which you'll find an 8 inch IPS LCD display with a quad core Intel Atom Z3560 processor running at 1.8 GHz with 2 GB of RAM. There are actually a few different versions of this tablet floating around and I'll link below the uh, slightly slower processor but 32 GB of internal storage for the same $170 uh, price point. So with this you get an 8.0 inch IPS display with a resolution of the uh, 2048 by 1536 uh, with a PPI of 320. Uh, you also get a 1.8 GHz quad core Intel processor, 2 or either 4 GB of RAM. You can get this in 16, 32, 64 GB of onboard storage with a micro SD expansion up to 128 GB. You get an 8 megapixel rear camera and a 5 megapixel front camera. You also get a non-removable 15.2 WR battery, Android 6.0 Marshmallow, and this thing only weighs about 300 grams, which makes this even lighter than the previous one. The Amazon Fireline is really on fire. The main tablet we'll be focusing on here is the Fire 7, which comes with a 7-inch IPS LCD display with a resolution of 600 by 1024 a quad-core processor, expandable storage and a battery that allows up to 7 hours of use on a single charge. There's only 8GB of onboard storage and the display might seem a little fuzzy, but the minimal approach of Amazon's Fire OS 5 promises smooth performance out of the device. This, the best part out of this deal is the price by far. You can pick one of these tablets up for just... guess? How much do you think? Well, the answer is $50. Brand new straight from Amazon. The company is also selling them in 6 packs for just $250. It's insanely cheap. From there you can find the Fire HD 6, Fire HD 8 and the Fire HD 10, uh, all of which support slightly better specs than the Fire 7, with option larger internal storage capacities and features priced at $100, $150 and $200. So the Fire 7 features a 7-inch IPS LCD display with uh, a resolution of 1024 by 600 mix, which gives you a PPI of 171. You have a 1.2 GHz quad-core processor, a gig of RAM, 8 GB of onboard storage uh, with a micro SD expansion slot. You have a 2 megapixel rear camera and a VGA front camera, and you get up to 7 hours of battery life. This one also comes in at around 300 grams. 
Up next we have the new LG G-Pad 2 8.0. This iteration of the G-Pad 8 has most of the same features found on its predecessor with a few notable updates. The body has been redesigned with curved sides for better handling and now looks more modern. The RAM has also been bumped up from 1GB to 1.5GB, uh, so that's a 50% increase. A stylus is now included and LG has included a full-size USB a USB port for connection to keyboards, mice and external storages, which means that you can pretty much use this tablet as a laptop I guess. LG also uses one of the best interfaces so far. Optimus is extremely user friendly, unrobustive and highly customizable. Also LG's apps continue to impress me and unlike most manufacturers LG actually allows you to uninstall them and pretty much remove everything you don't need, which is great. So this tablet is featuring a Snapdragon Qualcomm 1.2GHz processor, 1.5GB of RAM, 32GB of internal storage, a removable storage up to 128GB, uh, a back 5MP camera and a front 2MP camera. Um, display is an 8 inch 1280x800 IPS display and this thing only weighs about a pound. And now let's talk about one of my favorite tablets, the Apple iPad mini 2. Now this product has been discontinued and with that, the, that means that the price has dropped massively. So you can get this for around 200 bucks I would say. Uh, this tablet is one of the best tablet out, tablets out there, not just because of the performance, um, but also because of the display. This thing packs a 1536 by um, 2048 pixels, which makes it a 324 ppi pixel density, which pretty much means this is one of the best tablets on this list and also probably the best priced. This thing also supports the new iOS 10.3, uh, which comes with all the new features. It has a 5 megapixel back 1080p camera and a 1.2 megapixel um, 720p front camera. This thing also ha has 6470 mAh battery which I'm sure will last you quite a bit of time. I would say about two days with a medium usage. Apple not only makes great tablets, but they also make great um, pretty much iOS. Uh, what I like about Apple is that all the applications were, will work perfectly just because of their great optimization. So that's pretty much it for the video. I would like to say thank you for watching. Uh, it really means a lot. Please let me know in the comments below which uh, tablet you like the best. In my opinion, the Apple, my, uh, Mini, uh, the Apple iPad Mini 2 is the most affordable and it will give you the best price to performance ratio. But I also like the $50 Amazon Fire um, 7. Anyway, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to drop this video a like and subscribe for more content. I'll see you all next time.